Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is Monday and this weekend has been very heavy and very unexpected and I kind of want to start with that. I do have some other health updates as well but I want to start off with what happened this past weekend. I did post a community post on YouTube. It will have been last week because I didn't post a video. I think I might upload this vlog before the what I eat in a week. I'm not sure yet. I haven't really decided. I guess you'll know by the time you see this, but I posted an update that my aunt sadly passed away very suddenly. She passed away on Friday and she was 60 years old. She was healthy, no conditions or anything, underlying health conditions that we were aware of or anything. And she passed away in her sleep, which I'm still in shock and I don't feel like it's real. And as many of you know, my uncle, he's the one that's been driving me to all my appointments. My uncle Mike, he's been in my videos. That's his wife, so my aunt. I don't think she's been in any of my videos, but we were pretty close and honestly shocking and I don't really know how to wrap my head around it right now and it's just really sad. So yeah, that's been this weekend. So when I was younger, my aunt and I, we were really close. I idolized her and when Especially when I got my diagnosis, she was there. I remember the day I got my diagnosis, I FaceTimed both my aunt and uncle first and I told them the news and they both came over. And this was like, again, during the height of the pandemic and everything. And one memory that I keep going back to and it was that day when I got my diagnosis and they came over and I hadn't been able to really hug anybody because of everything going on and being immunocompromised but that was the day that was horrible, one of the worst days of my life and I just needed a hug and she gave me my first hug that I had gotten from anyone outside of my house and it was just really comforting but yeah it's just been a hard couple of days again but thank you to everyone who has sent their prayers um, their thoughts, condolences, positive thoughts to my uncle. It really means a lot to me and I'm so grateful for every one of you in this little community that we have going on here. So thank you so much for that. And yeah, I'm gonna also remember my aunt. She was a, had a very big sweet tooth and I used to decorate cakes and when I would have extra icing, I mean, I was guilty of it too. I would eat the extra icing, but sometimes I would save that extra icing for her. And when she would come over, I'd give her just the little container of icing and she'd just eat it by the spoon. So I'm gonna remember her that way. And I want to make some icing very soon and maybe go somewhere and kind of toast her off like that. So with a spoonful of icing. So there is going to be a visitation this week, so we're going to go to that. But I do have a bunch of appointments on Wednesday and one of our cousins is actually kindly taking me to my appointment so my uncle doesn't have to worry about that because obviously he has so much more going on with everything that has happened. The other update that I have is before all of this happened, Last week, I got word that I got approval for the iron infusion, so I am getting that next week, so on the 21st of March. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, it's going to help because actually I got my blood work done last Wednesday. I didn't vlog last week because I just wasn't feeling... I wasn't in the right headspace to film a vlog last week, so... Anyways, I got my blood work done last Wednesday and they found out that, so when they checked my ferritin at the very beginning, it was at 22 when she wants it to be at like 100. So I had been taking the iron supplements for a month, got them checked after a month, my ferritin levels, and it only went up to 29. 
and then a couple weeks later which would have been this past wednesday i got my levels checked again and my ferritin actually dropped down to 25 so my hematologist doesn't think that my body is actually absorbing the iron supplement and she seems to think that it has to do with the oral chemotherapy that I'm still on because she said the oral cyclophosphamide that I'm on can mess with your gut and cause like the iron supplement to not it can mess with your gut so the iron supplement isn't absorbing so again I'm very happy that I am getting the iron infusion soon and Actually, my hematologist, she said she thinks that there's magic under my name because she hasn't seen such a fast turnaround with this kind of thing, with coverage and everything. But I said I did call a couple of times. I wasn't rude or anything. I just asked if there was an update and that kind of thing. And she said advocacy is key. So yeah, that's just your reminder to advocate for yourself. And if you have to call a second time, don't think you're being annoying. Just... You know, be kind to the person, say is there an update or whatever you're trying to figure out, don't be afraid to do that because it does pay off in the end. So I, like I said, I'm getting that on Monday, but this week, as I was mentioning, I do have a bunch of appointments. So I have physio and then I have to get some blood work done again and then I have an x-ray and an MRI all in one day. All good things happening. I know the last conversation, text message conversation I actually had with my aunt, she was really hoping that the iron infusion would help me and that I'd feel better soon. So I know that she would want me to keep going and be happy with what's ahead. So yeah, that's my whole update as for now. I did want to actually show you a book haul because I got a couple new books. Um, I think I mentioned, I did mention this a couple of vlogs ago when I had bought the Court of Thorns and Roses box set from Indigo. One of the one of the books, the very first book, was damaged, so I had messaged to customer service. They gave me a store credit because one of the books were damaged. And it was going to take a really long time for me to get the box set, a new box set, and I really wanted to start the series. So anyways, long story short, I did get two books using that credit. And then I also, on the weekend, went to the secondhand bookstore because I had a box full of just older books that I didn't want to keep anymore. And I traded those in and I actually got some new books. So I got a, so when I go to this secondhand uh, bookstore, you give them the books that you have that you want to get rid of and they go through them, see which ones they want to take and then you get a store credit. So I use the store credit on these books. So anyways, I thought I would show you this book haul since I know a lot of us do like to read. I'm going to start with the Indigo books, the brand new books. So I got two books by the same author and that is, I've seen this one all over TikTok. This one is The Mountain Is You by Brianna Weiss. I think that's how you say 
her last name and I've like I don't know if I mentioned this but I've been getting back into more self-help books as I'm going through my cognitive behavioral therapy and everything like that so currently I am in the middle of you are awesome and I showed that in one of my previous videos but I got this one because I've seen this one all over TikTok like I mentioned and this one says it's transforming self-sabotage into self-mastery so I'm excited to get to this one and also I have been looking at one of her other popular ones is 101 essays that will change the way you think I think that's what it's called but I thought I would try this one out and like I said that other one the 101 essays I think this book is also in kind of the same format so it's called when you're ready this is how you heal so this one is also a collection of essays about healing so for example here's one 16 ways emotionally intelligent people interpret negative feelings differently definitely need that <laughs> so I have this one and then the one that I just mentioned the mountain is you I don't think it's essay format it's just talking about different topics about like self-sabotage like there's different headings subconscious mind is trying to communicate with you identifying the difference between instinct and fear so yeah very very excited to get to these and if I like these ones I will be on the lookout for her other one the 101 essays so those are the two new books and then at the second hand bookstore I actually got five books so I got two mysteries and then I think three sort of contemporary maybe three mysteries we'll see so the first one I got is the last thing he told me by Laura Dave and actually this was on my Amazon wish list so when I seen this in the store I was like yep I'm just buying it just let me have it I'm excited for this one this one is i think it's a mystery and i got then she was gone by lisa jewel i've heard a lot about this book and i don't know if there's a movie on this but this is also a mystery and this one when i tell you i went into the store and i went up to the front to like give them the books to sort through and then i would go back and look at the other books but they had just like a row like right at the front of just like books and when I tell you, I grabbed this one because it felt like slow motion. I grabbed this one because I was like, okay, why isn't anybody else grabbing this book? So this book was actually on my wish list as well. It's called The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. And when I tell you that this brand new is like over $30, like they don't have a paperback version. It's just the hardcover. I got this for six dollars I just think that this book sounds like soup this book sounds super interesting and talks a lot about different important topics and the cover is just really pretty as well and then I've never really heard of this one but I read the synopsis and I thought okay I gotta get this one so it's called who do you love by Jennifer Warner so this one's kind of like a love story it's these two children that meet in a hospital i guess they both have heart defects and then it's about both of their lives separately and i guess throughout their life they continue to bump into each other and like i said i don't think i've ever read anything by this author but i thought i would give it a try and then the last book i actually got this one with my nanny in mind so when I went to one of the bookstores, one of the secondhand bookstores, I got The Perfect Couple by this author. And I haven't read it yet because I think it's more of like a summer read, so I might save it for then. But my nanny read it and she really liked it. And then we ended up having another book by that author from one of the little libraries. So she's read that one. I think she's read three by this author at this point, but she really enjoys this author. So I got 28 Summers by Ellen Hildebrand and I'm also interested in reading this one too. I've heard that this one is actually really good as well but I got this in mind for my nanny and I don't know. I think this one's kind of a mystery. Interesting. 
So I'm excited to read that one as well. I've been reading a lot more recently and in February I was kind of in a bit of a reading slump. I think just with everything that was going on, all the change and that kind of thing, it was really hard for me to focus. So the fact that I was trying to read and I just couldn't focus, not a good combination. And also I started off February with a book that I like wasn't really interested in and I was trying to force myself to read. But anyways, like I said, I feel like I am getting back into reading and I've actually been reading a lot. But I did finish a book and I thought I would share it. So I read A Court of Mist and Fury, the second book of the Court of Thorns and Roses series that I just had mentioned. And I mean, look at this book. <laughs> this is over 600 pages and I finished it. So very proud of myself. And when I read the first book of this series, I thought that the first half was kind of hmm, slow and then the second half got better and I gave the first one a four star and I thought, okay, this is good, but I still didn't really 100% understand the hype around this series. And then I had heard a lot of people said that the second book is actually better, so I continued on with the second one and oh my goodness, I loved this book. I will give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars just because, again, I, I find with these books the first 100, 200 pages are a bit slow and like not a lot happens. But then once you get into like the 300 page mark, 250, 300 page mark, and I kind of got spoiled on the romance part because I saw a TikTok about it. But I still really loved it. I had to get right into the third one, so I am currently reading the third one. The third one's 700 pages, but I am making my way through that one. I just started that one yesterday, so yeah, that's my next read. And then I will get into these pile of books. And like I said, I'm also reading a nonfiction as well, and I'm almost halfway through that one, so I'll probably start one of these ones after that. So it's Tuesday and I actually wasn't really gonna film much today, but I did get a package from Amazon and I didn't order anything, so I thought I would do a little unboxing. Ooh. So this is from Suzanne and she said, enjoy your gift, beautiful, strong woman. Love from Suzanne in Halifax. Oh, I really hope that... Sorry, my camera blurred. There's... The note. And it's funny because I actually added this book... Oh, I think yesterday or the day before. So this is a book, it's called All's Well by Mona Awad and it's actually about a woman with chronic illness which I thought was really cool and I really wanted to read it and this author has actually uh, written another book that's really popular, I haven't read it yet um, it's called Bunny but this one is her newest release and I'm very excited to read this. So thank you so much to Suzanne for sending me this. That really put a smile on my face and I'm gonna keep this note in the book. So when I get to reading it, I will have it there. I do keep, um, everyone that has sent me a book, I do keep the little notes in there and I tape them in there and yeah. Thank you so much for thinking of me and getting me this book. So I feel like that last clip was a little bit rushed. I was just about to go into a meeting, but I wanted to properly give the book some attention. So I did actually read the whole synopsis and I'm very excited to get into this one. I think this is going to be my next read, but as I mentioned earlier, I did just start the third book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So. I still got a long way to go on that one, but definitely after that one, I want to get to this one. And also, I just finished my non-fiction book of the week. 
I finished You Are Awesome. And if you're looking for a self-help book that is very easily digestible, you don't really have to think too hard or read between the lines or anything like that, I would recommend this one. I did annotate this one and also I have been seeing a neuropsychologist to help with like improving my focus, concentration, memory, all that kind of stuff. So actually what I did is I have this little notebook. I would read a chapter. The chapters are very short. And this book was divided into like nine sections. So I kind of read it. There's like little chapters, sub chapters in between each of those nine sections. So I would take a section at a time read a chapter or two and then go off of memory of like some of the key takeaways and then I just like wrote them down. I didn't really get up to much today. I'm just kind of conserving my energy for tomorrow. And then Thursday, like I mentioned, um, we have the wake for my aunt. There was one thing that I wanted to mention earlier in this vlog that I didn't mention because a lot of people have asked in the past because my mom has called me by this nickname and some people were asking me a couple months ago where it came from and I have a nickname, it's Bexter and the person that actually came up with the nickname was my aunt so I had asked her a few months ago when people were asking because my like really close family call me that so my mom, my nanny sometimes, my aunt and uncle, they're the main ones that call me that and she said like when I was younger when I got my first like flip phone and I started to text I guess it rolled off the tongue Bexter the texter and she just said that I looked like a Bexter whatever that is and I also had a nickname for her for when from when I was like very very little when I probably started talking her name was Donna and I called her Don Don. So if anybody's wondering where that nickname comes from, because I know my mom has called me that a couple of times in my videos, then yeah, that's where it comes from. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was a super long day. I had my physiotherapy, then I had blood work, a chest x-ray, and a pelvic abdominal MRI. And let me tell you, they poked me four times in total yesterday because when I went for blood work, the nurse it was a different nurse. I've never seen her there before and she missed my port so she had to try again. And then they took it out for the chest x-ray, but then I needed it again for the MRI because they do some contrast dye. The guy, like, he didn't look super confident doing it. Like, I think he wanted to do an IV, but I asked specifically for it to be done through my port because my veins are just nowhere to be found. And he tried, didn't work. I he wanted to try an IV and I said no I really want it in my port and I explained the whole situation so somebody else came and did it so reason number 537 of why advocating for yourself is so important it's just a lot easier for me to get it through my port than through my veins because my veins even before chemo were pretty hard to find and then after chemo they just are completely done. <laughs> I've been poked so many times. So yeah, that's why I have a port and it ended up going fine. The MRI was pretty long. So the whole day in total was very exhausting. So today I've just been kind of resting. 
I'm dressed up because we are going to my aunt's wake tonight, so we're gonna leave in a little bit for that. I did get a package from the health food store because when I went last week, there was a couple of things that I needed that were on sale. The like physical health food store, like they didn't have any left in stock, so I had to go online. So I thought I would show you what I got. And then I also had to spend a certain amount to get free shipping and I'd rather like buy something else that I'm either gonna eat or use instead of paying for shipping. So that's what I did. The main reason why I had to place the order was for my supplements and two of the supplements that I'm on were on sale. So I got a refill of the ashwagandha that I take. I take this for anxiety and to help with sleep and I actually have found a difference. I, I am doing some other things besides this that I think is helping but I do think that this has helped me feel a little bit less anxious so I've been taking that since about November and then I got another folic acid because I'm still taking that as per request by my hematologist. So again I do take a pretty high dose of this so this bottle only lasts me about a month. This I was also looking for in the like regular store, but they didn't have it. It's coconut icing sugar. And I just like using coconut sugar better. Like I like the flavor and I feel like it's a little bit healthier for you. I know it's like still sugar, but I wanna try doing some baking with this. I have this like mug cake sort of recipe. I am actually gonna show you some of the ones that I've been testing out in the air fryer in next week's video. I think I'm gonna post my what I eat in a week. So I've been testing that out. So I wanna use that to make a little icing for one of them. And then another thing that we were trying to find in the store and couldn't find is this hand cream so it's by the brand Sukin. it's this hand and nail cream and i actually found this first at winners and i got some and i tried it and i really liked it what i really liked about it is it absorbed very quickly so i don't really like when hand creams are very greasy so i like the fact that this one absorbs very quickly and it also smells nice and i think it has a little bit better ingredients in it and also good for sensitive skin. So I got one for my mom because she really likes it. And then I got a refill for me. And then these two things I added on to come up with the total for free shipping. And I have tried both of these and they are really good. So I got, they're both from the same brand. So I got these critters. So they're like animal crackers, but they're gluten, dairy, peanut free, soy free, nut free. So this brand is actually good for anybody that has allergies. I just, like I've said before, I just don't really like to eat dairy and gluten because I just think I feel better without it. So I got those. I've tried these before. I actually bought these when I was going through radiation and they were really good. And then I got these Montana chocolate chip cookies and these are really good too. So that's all I got from Healthy Planet. It's Sunday and I am just editing the video and I thought I would come on here and end the video. The past couple of days I haven't really been up to too much. On Thursday we went to the visitation and I had ordered flowers to be delivered there and they didn't do the right order. I had asked for some little butterflies in the arrangement because one, my aunt really loved butterflies and two, I wanted the little butterflies as a keepsake for her grandchildren for them to know that she's always with them. So anyways, the next day I had called the flower shop, they apologized, it was on the order, and I guess whoever made them just didn't see that on the order, so they gave me another bouquet with butterflies, so we went and dropped it off at my uncle's house, and yeah, I've just been feeling really tired, and I think the iron infusion can't come soon enough, I'm actually getting it tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. 
It'll probably be a long day, but I just want to get it, get it over with and hopefully I feel better right after. That's pretty much it. I know this vlog is probably a little bit longer, but had lots to update, I guess. But thank you so much for watching and again, thank you to everyone's kind comments. They mean the world to me and yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video and also give this video a like and I will see you in the next video.